Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds, your seed guru. Today we are talking about vetch and I love vetch. So late summer, early autumn on Living Seeds Farm, um, we've, we've, list, we've lifted most of our, our crops, the majority of our harvests are coming in and we start sowing vetch as our main um, overwintering green manure crop. And there's a number of reasons why I like vetch. One of the reasons, and you can see it in this tunnel, this was a tomato seed production tunnel, um, and you can't see the soil. The soil is here. If I move the vetch away, I mean, there's the, the, um, the soil is here. But what the vetch has done is the vetch has, has protected the soil over winter. It's trapped moisture. It's created organic matter. It's invigorated the life inside the soil and I'll show all of this to you now um, but it's a case of now we are um, we're about the middle of August and we're now starting to chop the vetch back and we're going to chop the vetch down um, and it'll be a chop and drop scenario where we cut the vets just below the soil surface and we allow it to die down on the soil to add an additional mulch into the soil we never ever dig vetch into the soil um, you always want the organic matter on top of the soil and you want the soil microorganisms to pull that organic matter down into the soil and i'll show you now how important that is so how do you know when it's time to um, cut your vetch back well there's a couple of things and it's it's an entirely a a user preference or a user choice normally we will we will cut the vetch back once we start seeing little seed pods on the vetch, especially out in the fields. Um, we don't want the vetch to reseed and start growing as a weed in in our um, in our fields. Um, or what we do is is like now middle of August, we will start planting in about a month's time. We've got a lot of fields, a lot of tunnels to prepare for um, our, our first planting, which is 15th of September. Uh, so we will actually start chopping the vetch now um, and we'll work our way through all of the fields as we approach spring planting. One of the major benefits of vetch as a living mulch is the entire little ecosystem that is happening down here. And in this ecosystem, there's, you can see earthworms over here, there's earthworms right at the soil surface. And it's absolutely stunning. These little, these little insects, there's a beetle running around there, flies. Look at all of this fungus that's growing underneath here, breaking down the dead organic matter. And this beautiful, beautiful soil that has been created. So how we plant our vetch is, is, is very important to, to the way that um, you'll use this vetch as, as a living mulch. So right now, this is a living mulch. Um, the vetch is growing. It's nice and green on top. Underneath, when I lift this vetch over here, you're going to see dark, moist soil. We will water. I think this tunnel gets watered sort of once a week. It's, it, it's not a really um, high importance um, watering over winter and as soon as the vetch covers the soil the the water requirements of the plant actually plummets quite dramatically and I reckon it gets watered once a week we might forget a week here or there um, but it's typically about once a week so what happens is right now I'm straddling one of our planting beds and I don't know if you can make out behind me you can see it's nice and tall over here and then it dips um, on either side over here this is the pathway where we walk up and down and we will have our tomato plants growing up over here um, and like i said earlier we'll we'll actually plant our seed in a line down the center of this bed and if i take this vetch and i fold the vetch over the first thing that you see is that number one it's moist but uh, let's just open it up all the way over there so here's our drip irrigation line and it's been planted directly against the drip irrigation line over here and basically what you want to do is you want to take this vetch and just fold it all the way down so let's just fold it just give you a nice picture over here so you can see the soil i mean the soil is dark it's almost black it's beautiful 
There's earthworms over here. There's little beetles running around. There's spiders. It's absolutely stunning. Okay. But this is the kind of environment that is created um, by this living mulch of vetch. So what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you two things. Um, well, I've shown you a couple of things already, but there's two really exciting things um, about, about vetch. And let me show you the first one now. So now that you're all nice and close up, take a look at this beautiful soil. And you can see the soil, a lot of the soil over here is actually made up of broken down organic matter. And it's absolutely beautiful. However, one of the things that we did when we planted this vetch was we inoculated it with a bacteria. And the bacteria that we inoculated it with is a nitrogen fixing bacteria. So I'm just going to lift, uh, see if I can loosen some roots over here. Well, there we go. So look at all of these beautiful little nodules. So these nodules that are on the roots, let's take that out the way over there. These nodules on the roots are um, little colonies of nitrogen fixing bacteria. So what needs to happen is we need to cut this plant. So you can imagine my finger is the soil line, okay? We need to cut this plant just below the soil line so that these nitrogen fixing nodules can break down in the soil and supply you free organic nitrogen into your soil, which is absolutely stunning. I mean, this is, it's, this is awesome. So right now you can just see a, a couple of roots over here. These roots extend down two meters into the soil. So you've got two meters of roots that are colonized with nitrogen fixing bacteria that are going deep into your soil. And that's free nitrogen. That's absolutely awesome. The most important thing that we need to do is we need to stop this, um, this veg plant from actually growing. So we don't want it to re-root itself, but we want to leave these precious nitrogen nodules underneath the soil so that they can release. When they break down, these nodules break up and it releases nitrogen into the soil. So what we want to do is take the spade, and if you see, um, I'm, I'm just going to sever this plant just below the soil surface. Okay, so now we have this plant, and we take, so what you want to do, let's just cut this one as well over here. What you want to do is you want to take the plant and literally turn it upside down so that the roots are now on top and what's going to happen is all of these little leaves and it happens within three or four days these little leaves dry up they drop off and they fall down and those leaves now become a mulch so this was a living mulch it's now going to become a dead mulch on the soil surface this will break down and it'll be incorporated into the soil by all of these precious soil organisms that are living inside your soil. One of the, check out all of these beautiful earthworms. One of the, or the second important thing. So I spoke about the nitrogen fixing um, in the soil over here. The second most important thing, and let's just move these little guys out of the way nicely over here. If you look at all of this black, dark earth over here. So this is the kind of soil that you're looking for in your vegetable garden and this soil you can't buy this soil you have to make it yourself and this is humus rich soil and how do i know that it's humus rich soil if you look at my hands okay um i've been working in the soil for the length of this video and you can see how dark destained my hands are we've been for, uh, we've had our, our, our soil soil tested um, and that's a whole different story, which we'll be making a video about shortly. But we basically broke the machines because we had too much organic matter in our soil. But this is humus, and humus breaks down into a life-giving soil. It's a healthy soil. It's a soil that grows fantastic vegetables. And this is one of the reasons why Living Seeds produces the best seed in the country. Because we have good soil. So this is one of our tunnels that is that is almost finished and basically what's happened is they have um, 
they've cut the vetch down you can see this is the ridge where the vetch was growing the vetch is on top of this over here we'll allow this to die down the vetch will die down on the ridge it'll allow organic matter to be incorporated into the planting site um, where our seedlings are going to go in and um, this is it but you can see the amount of organic matter that is produced by this vetch and it's it's not just the organic matter that's been produced it's the organic matter that's been produced it's the root nodules that are um, are releasing nitrogen into the soil it's organic nitrogen and it's it's nitrogen that you don't have to pay for and with the cost of fertilizer nowadays um, any free nitrogen is good nitrogen as you can see on living seeds farm we utilize the the magical majestic oh, I don't know there's some a whole lot of words that you can use but we utilize vetch to its fullest extent for nitrogen fixing for a living mulch uh, for soil improvement to protect our soil over winter mulch really is king guys if you've enjoyed this content subscribe to our channel we love to help you grow